Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and this is the first in a series of tutorials on JavaFX. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about what JavaFX is and what you need to install to get started with it. And in the next tutorial, we'll create a Hello World JavaFX application. And I'm pretty new to JavaFX myself, so if you spot any glaring errors, then do let me know. But basically, JavaFX is a window toolkit for Java. In other words, it's, um, it's an API for Java for creating um, desktop applications. And um, in fact, you can uh, deploy JavaFX applications either as like a standalone package or you can deploy them uh, so that they run in a, in a browser or you can use Java Web Start so that people can click on a link on the internet and run the application that way. So um, it, it, it's intended to replace Swing, which is Java's current user interface GUI toolkit. Um, it's now just the end of 2013. And at the moment, everyone's still pretty much using Swing. But JavaFX is, in, is intended to replace that. And it's supposed to remedy a lot of the problems that exist with Swing. One of those problems being that it's not that easy in some ways, arguably, to deploy a Swing application. The FX actually comes from, um, I believe it comes from the fact that it's um, it's intended to be a bit like Flash in that you can have um, effects like uh, transition effects and you can do animation with it and that kind of thing. Uh, I believe you can also write games with it, although it's intended for creating you know, sort of serious applications like desktop type applications like... Um, you know, word process and uh, it's got a, a rich set of charts that you can use. So you can you can build like really serious apps with it. And uh, what else to say? I think that's basically it. Yeah, so let, let's, let me show you what you need to install to get started with this. Yeah, so in a nutshell, you can create and deploy um, really serious GUI applications with JavaFX. Oh yeah, it also separates the um, the kind of implementation of the user interface more cleanly from the code than Swing did. In Swing, you kind of had to enforce that yourself. And it was always difficult in Swing to um, hook up the different components. And JavaFX has fixed a lot of that. And it's a kind of XML type language, which you can create using this scene builder application, or you can write it by hand. And that contains your user interface stuff, which is styled by style sheets and then your code can concentrate on the real logic of your application. It's a little bit like how Android um, works, if you know any Android programming. But yeah, it's, it's, it's very good. So to actually get started with it, I'm gonna, um, a lot of people use uh, NetBeans with JavaFX because uh, the or Oracle Sun, um, I, believe, I think it's their product, NetBeans, so of course they, they promote it because JavaFX is also their thing. They're, they're the Java guys, basically. But um, Eclipse is m much more widely used, as far as I know. It's more the industry standard IDE for, jo for Java developers. So for that reason, I'm going to use uh, Eclipse in these tutorials, together with the freestanding visual designer scene builder. Um, but you can you can use NetBeans if you want, and a lot of tutorials um, do use NetBeans. So what you need to install is, I'm going to assume that you know how to write Java programs and that you've got Eclipse installed. Now you might need to upgrade your version of Java. You're going to need Java 7. Uh, you're going to need um, JDK 7 or, uh, or later. I see there's um, a JDK 8 available, but I think that's a little bit experimental at the moment. Maybe it's not by the time you're watching this. I don't know. But I'd recommend um, at least at the end of 2013 here, if you search for like JavaFX download, and uh, let's, let's maybe go to, I don't know, this page, installing JavaFX here. Uh, you're gonna need to install the Java 7 SDK that's, that includes JavaFX. And as far as I understand, uh, not all versions of JDK 7 do. I see you can also install the, the standalone JavaFX SDK. What I did was I just went to the JavaFX downloads page here. It's pretty easy to find. 
and I installed this um, yeah I think I installed this Java FX for Java SC7 or did I install the JDK I don't know anyway uh, make sure you in, you install that I download Java 7 Java Standard Edition 7 with Java FX I think that's what I installed so you need that so that you've got the Java FX API on your system so um, of course you you'll have Eclipse already I'm assuming that and uh, you'll also want to install um, the Java FX Scene Builder and um, this is a really nice visual designer application that we're going to be using in these tutorials to design our, um, our GUIs and then you can you, with Swing, people tend to write user interfaces by hand because there's I haven't seen any really good visual designer for Swing. They've all got a lot of deficiencies. But with Java FX, it's a different situation, and you can use this Java FX free freestanding scene builder together with Eclipse to create your um, Java uh, F FXML um, files which will kind of um, be rendered as your user interface. This is, this is a great tool to have, the Java FX Scene Builder. And I'm going to be using uh, 1.1, I guess, but if there's a later version out now, by the time you're looking at this, then uh, certainly use the later version. And the final thing that we need is if you go to Eclipse and go to uh, Help and Eclipse Marketplace, if your version of Eclipse has this, and then search for or well, if you just search in there for Java FX, and you'll find a plugin called EFX Clips, which is the most awful name that they could possibly think of. I don't know how to pronounce it, but um, you need to install this EFX Clips plugin for Eclipse as well. And if you install that together with the um, the Java FX API, uh, which whether it's bundled with your JDK 7 or not. If you get it right and then you install Eclipse, what you should find is that you, you then have the option in Eclipse to go to File, uh, New, Other, and you'll be able to select JavaFX and JavaFX Project. So you need to get that working. And for that, you need the plugin and the SDK. If, um, if you don't have the marketplace in Eclipse, you can, because uh, some versions of Eclipse don't seem to have this, Eclipse Marketplace, you can go to install new software. It seems to move around and uh, indeed get renamed for that matter between the window and the help menu. But if you go, go to that, you can always um, add a site here, add a download site here, make up a name for it, and then you can install stuff that way. And to get the URL that you need, just search for um, something like Java FX Eclipse plugin download. And uh, from there, you can get like the URL that you paste into Eclipse to install it. But you only need to do that if you haven't got the Eclipse Marketplace in your version of Eclipse. So that's it for this uh, tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll create a Hello World Java FX application. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, please click the subscribe button and also I hope you'll consider going to my website www.caveofprogramming.com and uh, subscribing to the mailing list here because there I'll give you discounts on my premium tutorials, although this tutorial is free. And uh, you can also get notified when I create new stuff. So that's it for this time and until next time, happy coding.